Hey guys, it's Seb here, and today I'm bringing you a new series on my channel. I'm very excited about this one. Um, it's FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Shock. Never seen that before, have you? Um, series. But I'm doing it so that I start off with this Premier League team, which is my Ultimate Team that I've built up. Um, and I start off with this team, and then I play season, two seasons with it, and then I don't trade it in, I keep it. But then, excuse me. Oh, yeah. But then I um trade it in. Well, don't trade it in. I keep it, and then the money I've made from playing with it for those seasons, I use to buy three players from a new league. And that new league is determined by the fact that if I if I win the league with the team, then I play. Then I the best player from the pack that you get when you win the league. I pick him as a best as my best player and then he determines the league in which I play in so if I get a Serie A player then I determine I play a Serie A league like for the next time and I'm going to play two seasons with it so if I don't win the league in two seasons then I get to choose the league of my choice that's how it works and um, with these th the money I have to buy three players one goalkeeper has to be the goalkeeper because I'm in the league one and I'm not planning on getting relegated and then two outfield players so I'll probably play a midfielder and a striker or defender and striker, depends who I see and what I like. So, at the moment I've got a good Premier League team. I am resting a few players in this first game, so I don't have my usual start in. But um, it's still a solid Premier League team. And we come up against this really mishmash side of Welbeck playing right wing, um, Vanovic in his position, Song in centre mid, with a left wing at centre mid, a left mid at centre back, um, so it's a very mishmash side, 79 rating, so not a good rating, and it's a 31 chemistry. I mean, fair enough, he might just be starting and something, or might be trying something out, but that isn't a great side. So I'm going into it thinking, right, even though I've got the resting players like Torres, Ben, sort of that, I'm thinking I'll easily get into this. Like Gerard, I'm resting. I'm like, this should be really easy, and it proves that at the start. I'm all over the bloke. Um, maybe it could be a girl, but I'm all over him. And Palacios, I feel, should score there, day in, day out. I don't know what he's doing, but he should score there. Um, so yeah, we're we're all over them for the first whew, ten minutes. I'm just flying like Sessegnon pulling moves, Cisse getting the ball, feeding out to Hernandez, having digs, and should be scoring. To be honest, I should be scoring. And then I go and give away the throw, and Umbacani gives it held to Barbosa. Back to Giacchini, into Helda Barbosa, and Helda Barbosa, straight through my keeper's legs. Pepe Reina, maybe should be saving it. And he goes 1-0 up on the 22nd minute. So I've been all over him for the first 10 minutes. And then it's the way FIFA goes, isn't it? Everyone who plays FIFA will know. It could be flying, and then next thing you know, bam, goal. So that was very frustrating. And, um, yeah, couldn't do much about it. But then he gives away a throw. That's how he cuts around. That's how he then gets to the byline. Scoop turns back inside and then just bends it one into the far corner, almost to say, "Yeah, is that what you got?" Seven minutes later, we reply with an absolutely brilliant wonder goal from an individual. Whereas his was a great team goal, to be fair, like passing it around and everything. But mine was just a ridiculous goal. Like that's how you do. You'll find in the series, he scores some absolutely ridiculous goals. And then he goes and gives it to Cisse. Cisse's running through, and you're thinking, Cisse should score, or if he tramps it, no, he tries chipping the keeper, and then gets it just before the defender. And referee! It's got to be a penalty. Referee gives it as well. So we got the penalty, and they're arguing. don't know what they're arguing about, because that is a 100% penalty. So Hernandez steps up, little Chicharito, steps up, gets there, pings it, going to go bottom left. He goes, oh, he saved it though, didn't he? Fuck. Oh, but on the rebound, and absolutely wallops it on the rebound. I was just thinking he was just going to tap it in, but he has roofed that so hard. Little Chicharito coming up big for us, putting the lads 2-1 in front, and uh, we're thinking, right, let's get a foothold in this game, and let's push on now. Let's go. Let's push on. 36th minute, 2-1. Game's flying in this first half, and then I give away the ball again, and then he puts it through to Welbeck, who passes it out wide to Diacherini, who seems to be involved in all of their goals, absolutely skins my player on the wing, and then Risa just can't do anything to handle Song in the air, gets to rock completely on the side of him, and Alex Song, big, big Alex Song, he um, comes up, jumps with him and knocks in a header, so it's two all before half-time, and I'm thinking, oh my God, how is this happening? And then he goes down the wing, and I'm thinking, no, got to defend this, got to defend this, it goes to Alex Song, and I just decide to go in for a 
stupid slide tackle. And initially, I thought I got the ball from that angle. It looks like my player's got the ball and put it straight through into their player. However, that's not what the referee thought. He gave me a yellow, and from this angle, you'll see I take the player out from behind, which isn't probably the greatest idea. So then Big Gumbakani steps up against Rayner. I'm thinking Rayner's a good penalty expert, but unfortunately, I go the wrong way. Then Makani goes the right way. Celebrates in style to put their team 3 2 up. And I'm thinking, why? 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 And in the end, I'm just fouling them and trying to just foul and get the ball. And he just starts doing this, which is probably the most frustrating thing. If you've ever had anyone do this on FIFA, it is so frustrating. Just gets the ball, just runs away from your players, passes it back to his goalkeeper. Passes it out wide, like anything. Just so frustrating. You don't know what to do. In the 90th minute, you're there, just needing one goal. They're just passing it around, and it's just frustrating. I end up getting a red card in that game, and we end up losing it 3 2. Um, if you look at the match details, which we'll do in a sec, there you go 15 shots. He had eight possession. He had more possession than me because at the end, I got a red card. Um, because I just got frustrated and just kept taking them out. And so we start off this new series with a loss, 3-2 loss, which is very frustrating. Um, I was very annoyed because I thought I should beat that team. So we go into the next match, uh, look to change it up a bit. Session on, we give him a little contract and just chilling really, like just reminiscing on our loss, sort out our team a bit. We give Rain a new contract. No, what do we do? No, we don't give him a fitness card. I don't give him a fitness card right now. I don't I wait. So we change the team up, put Gerard on, put all the big guns on, put Gary Garcia on for the sent off player and just I uh, just that last game really annoyed me. Um it was just so frustrating the way that it panned out. I thought this is gonna be a really easy game and it turned out that it wasn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be really. Um so we change it. I take SAD off because I just like freshening up my team. Like I like literally having 99 fitness on every team. So that's what I do. Um, we bring Big Darren on. Um, this is ridiculous up front. Darren Bent and Torres up front. If you've actually got Darren Bent, he is probably the most OP player in the world. And if you've got Fernando Torres, he's probably the most OP player in the world as well. <laughs> um, so we've got Gerard Torres and Bent up front with Hernandez, who Pablo Hernandez from Swansea. Is probably the bargain buy I found in my Premier League team. I mean, I don't know if anyone else played with him, but I just find him ridiculously good for what level he is. And for f he's got four star skills, and they just seem to act like five star. Like it's ridiculous. He's just quality. And we come up against this team, and it's a, a strong Spanish side with Sanchez, Villa, Higuain, Alonso, Fabregas. Can't remember who that is on the right hand side. I think it might be Joaquin or something like that. Pepe, Fabio Contral. And yeah, so we come up against them, and I'm thinking, right, tougher game. Like we need to bounce back from that initial defeat, and we start off reasonably well. We we get corner, um, Torres just can't convert it, but we start off very well, and he feeds it to Darren Bent, and Darren Bent does not pass up those opportunities, as you know. Feed the Darren Bent, and he will score. So we go one nil up in the fifth minute. So it's a great start for the lads. Um, if you pass it to me on FIFA, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to score. Mm, I don't have any sympathy for anyone who passes it straight out. Um, and once again, since the theme of the day is throw-ins. So the ball gets to the throw-ins. And Sanchez pings it. Nice little bent into that l corner of his left foot. Uh, he took it very well. Mm, can't really blame anyone for that, apart from the fact that I could have probably defended better from the throw-in. But hey... So we're one all, and I'm thinking, not again, please, not again, please, 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 not again. I don't want to lose two games in a row on my new series, but we don't. Pablo Hernandez gets the ball, feeds it through. Torres, what can he do here? What can he do? Fernando Torres saved just over. I thought it should be my day, but it's obviously not going to be my day because we lose 2 1. Well, we don't lose 2 1, we um, go 2 1 down, I'm pretty sure, from this counter attack no we don't oh haven't seen this for a while Torres oh, I remember Gerard gets the ball 
and then Reese comes in with this massive long run up only to pass it to Hoyler who just turns and boots it and gets a beautiful deflection off of their defender which takes it perfectly past the keeper um, which is very unlucky for him but I was jumping up and down in joy because that was ridiculous and um, we I found that really funny to be honest um, and we get a corner from Javi Garcia pinging it out wide and get another deflection um, so deflections are happening a lot in this game and yeah, so this Premier League team's a very good team. And look at that. Boom! 3 1 up. Thinking, what? What? For Marlon. What? What? For Marlon. Thomas for Marlon. Mm -mm. I don't know. Thomas for Marlon. Thomas for Marlon. With a big header. Absolutely big header. But 3 1 up after 33 minutes. I'm thinking, yes, boys, this is how we do it. This is more like it. This is the team I love and know. Gerard getting the ball. Doing an absolutely crazy whip in. And if Torres scored that. I would have gone absolutely ballistic, but he didn't, um, unfortunately. It was a great little play. Gerard's little outside of the football into Torres. And then Joaquin gets the ball and just goes on a nutty run. Plays it out wide to David Villa. Who David Villa gets the ball, cuts back inside. David Villa has a ping. Great save by Reina. And Gibbs clears it to Hoyler. So there a bit of pressure from Torres' little run. And then in the second half, Gibbs is actually a really good left back for the, his price. Um... Dis disgustingly good he's so fast and unfortunately he gives it away in midfield and then Joaquin dinks a little ball to Villa and Villa dinks it back to Joaquin and that is such a sweaty goal he d doesn't try and just do it once the tramp he tries to do it twice and succeeds it's such a sweaty goal um, so yeah, I'm 3-2 and I'm thinking no please hold on please hold on like can't not hold on for this like this 56 minute I can't not hold on and Dick around in it in midfield. Again, Dick around in midfield. Fabregas puts through Higuain. Higuain does not miss from there. And it goes 3 all. And then the 84th minute, I'm all over them. Like, all over them. But they get the ball. They go through. And Sanchez is through on goal. And I'm thinking, no, it can't be. Can't be losing 4 3. Gibbs manages to keep up with him. And then he delays on the shot. And Reina comes up with a big save. And Javi Garz here gives it to Bent. And Bent puts Torres through straight off the bat. And I'm thinking, yes, let's go from one into another. No, <laughs> Torres just can't convert. And I'm thinking, what are you doing? So unfortunately, the game ends 3 all. And it was a great game. I really enjoyed playing that game. Um, unfortunately, it ended 3 all. And. That is how this episode ends up. We end up with a defeat and a loss. Defeat and a loss. Defeat and a draw. And think coming away a bit sore after this episode. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it guys. And if you want to see more, give it a like and a rating. And I'll be much appreciated. But on the flip side, I'm out of here motherfuckers. See you later, potato.